Question 6. The variable x and y are related by the equation. So here's an equation here. Such that p and q are constants. If graph y against x is drawn, its curve will pass through this point. So when they say y, y against x. So here this graph is already, this equation is already in terms of y against x, right? So from there, we can just straight away plot in this point. Okay, so you get your first equations. And then, whereas a straight line with gradient 1 over 8 is obtained when a graph of 1 over y is drawn, uh, sorry, against 1 over x is drawn. So you've got two equations here. I mean, uh, yeah, two straight line equation. The first one is in terms of y against x. The other one is uh, in terms of 1 over y against 1 over x. So we're going to do the first part, okay, because y against x, we can straight away use this equation. So we are going to substitute y, okay, wait, this is x, this is y, huh? so negative 6 equals to p, x is 1 over 2, over q, 1 over 2, minus 1. So I bring this up, so what do I get? I get negative 3q plus 6 equals to 1 over 2p. Okay, so this is my first equation. Um, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to continue doing first because I want to see what will I get from the second equation here. But the second equation here, I cannot just straight away substitute because this is 1 over y against 1 over x. So we're going to have to change the equation first. So this is the original equation. So for me to change this to become 1 over y, I can flip it. Right, because here is y over 1. So if I flip it, I will get 1 over y equals to qx minus 1 over px. Now here, I can break it apart, right? I can break it like this. Q over x, uh, sorry, qx over px minus 1 over px. So here I can cancel out. So my equation is going to be 1 over y equals to q... Okay, I'm going to write this one in front because later you know why. Eh? So 1 over negative 1 over p times 1 over x plus q over p. So why am I writing like this? Because the, the equation they gave is what? The graph is graph of 1 over y against 1 over x. So that's why I leave my answer with 1 over y here and 1 over x. So from here, you can see a, a pattern here. The pattern is what? This is the y equals to mx plus c. Because it's 1 over y against 1 over x. So these two will be the y and the x. So we have the gradient is this. Lah. So the question gave you what? 1 over 8 is the gradient. So we can say that negative 1 over p is equals to 1 over 8. So p is equals to negative 8. Okay. So we have already gotten our p value. So now we can find our q value, just substitute. So when I substitute here, I will get negative 3q plus 6 equals to 1 over 2 times negative 8. So I get negative 3q equals to negative 4 plus 6 because I bring the 6 to the other side. Eh, sorry, it should be negative 6, not plus 6. Okay. So q is equals to negative 10 over 3. Sorry, positive because I'm going to bring 2 negative over, so it's going to be 10 over 3.